this video we'll talk about writing a two column proof. So in a proof, you make one statement at a time until you reach the conclusion or what you're trying to prove. Because you make statements based on facts, you are using deductive reasoning. Usually the first statement reason pair we write is given information. So we're gonna take an example and we're actually gonna create a two column proof um, in this video. Um, so we're gonna look at the top, it says a proof of symmetric property of angle congruence. So the symmetric property we looked at in a previous video, we're gonna apply it today with these two angles. So whenever we're looking at a proof, we're always gonna be given some information and they want us to prove something else. So when we look at our statements and our reasons, this is why we, we call it a two column proof, statements on one side, reasons on the other. The first statement that you wanna make is always what is given to you. So we're gonna say statement number one, angle one is congruent to angle two. The reason we can make that statement is because it was given information, okay? So there's our first statement. Now from here, the statements that we are going to make are based on facts, right? We talked about deductive reasoning. So we know that we can use these facts and we can draw conclusions from these facts that we can write on our reasons column, okay? So now we wanna make a second statement and we wanna see what, what do we know about this congruence? Well. If two angles are congruent, that tells us that their measures are equal. So we could say the measure of angle one equals the measure of angle two. And what allows us to say that is just the definition of congruent angles. Definition of congruent angles. Okay, now we go on from there. Our third statement, well, if the measure of angle one is equal to the measure of angle two, the symmetric property tells us that the measure of angle two is also equal to the measure of angle one. And that is our symmetric property of equality. Okay, add my T in there, there we go. And now our last statement, we can just say that since the measures are equal, that means that the angles are congruent. And once again, that is our definition of congruent angles. Definition of congruent angles. Okay, so a couple things to look at with our two column proof. Number one at the top, we had this diagram that was listed. So sometimes a diagram will be given to you, sometimes it won't. So a good idea is to copy or draw diagrams, label given information to help us develop proofs. Uh, make sure we're not marking anything that is not given to us. We have to make sure it was just given information. Uh, we talked about our statements on the left side, making sure those are based on facts. We look at the number of statements that we have. Those could vary. Um, it could be four like this, could be less than four, could obviously be more than four. And always remember to start your first statement and reason as you're given information and always end with what you're trying to prove. Okay, Get, and also give a reason uh, for your last statement, okay? On the right side, some things that you could write for reasons, definitions, postulates, or any kind of theorem that we learned throughout geometry, okay? And that is a two-column proof.